What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. Got a fun, exciting video for you today. No opening of wax. But a re revelation. Reveal revelation. Is it a revelation? I think it's a reveal. I don't More know, than I, tried to think of. I think it might be a reveal. <laughs> um, PSA. Uh, we just got a big, huge order, as you can see, in front of us. Not the biggest order as far as quantity, but I think this might be our biggest value order. Yes. So we're talking between getting a 9 and a 10 is thousands of dollars uh, amongst all these cards combined. So this is a pretty, pretty large one for us. Also, we have been getting a lot of questions from you guys, comments for you guys about how you do PSA order, um, like how do you actually go through the process. So we're going to have Kelsey do maybe a little bit, ex an explanation of what she does because she has a really great eye for it. What PSA actually looks for. I'll talk about actually what cards you should be grading, what cards you shouldn't be grading. And then uh, we'll go into the reveal. So while you know, start us off here. We got Jordan Addison rookie card here. Yeah, we sure do. So if I were to be grading something like this, I would first off look at the corners, see if any of the corners are messed with, um, if like they're where the cards are cut, if it's like peeled at all. And then I would look at centering. Um, basically the space between the top of the card and where the bottom of the graphic starts and vice versa and then as long as well as the sides because some of the cards have borders on them so you can really see the difference between a really skinny border and a really thick one especially if it's not centered properly. these are a little bit harder because obviously you're looking at this rectangle and this rectangle mm -hmm. these should be the same shot size mm -hmm. but these are obviously harder versus like a card that is like you said a border yeah. where you can see oh that's a thick one and that's it so if you have a bad eye and you struggle, what can you do? Um, well, when I'm before, well, oh. I mean, you led me yeah, to this I think Yeah, I think that's what, for um, centering, we since we're talking about. can use something like this. If we're having a hard time trying to figure out if it's centered or not, we take this little handy dandy Legends. Board. Centering tool. I think there's tons of these online. It doesn't really matter which one you get. Anyway, I placed it in, I placed the card behind this and I kind of just line it up where I think it would be, basically on the top two corners and just see if it evenly lines up, which this one looks pretty good. Yeah, so you can see the top and the bottom, left and right. Mm -hmm. And it has a bunch of different like numbering system and it comes with a card and it'll tell you, because PSA there is, it, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect for mm -hmm. to be a 10. But again, we kind of just not, uh, eyeball it to make sure that you know we like, we like it. If it's way off, then we know it's gonna probably be a nine or an eight. Right. And then um, last but not least, after I've checked all those things, um, I look at the surface of it and I just basically take a microfiber towel and I go and I clean off the fingerprints. Um, I make sure like if there is anything on the card that is sticking to it, like because some, some of the times the cards stick to each other. Yeah. And um, paint from this other card comes off or print from the other cards comes off. Um, I just go ahead and use a microfiber towel and if there's like, if I'm like, is that a print line? And I wipe it over. I'm like, oh no, it was just like something on the card. So dimples too. What yeah. are dimples? Oh yeah. Sometimes the cards have dimples in them. Basically, Got like a little like dot dent into the card, and it um, basically doesn't make it perfect. Yeah. So there's a couple of things you can do if you don't have a perfect card. Uh, like if there's an indent an indentation on it or peeling or anything like that, uh, PSA will allow you to send it in and they can review it. And if they deem it that it is like a manufacturing effect defect, then they will actually, I mean, we've done it on a couple cards. We haven't gotten any of them back. It's been months. So if you're okay with just never seeing the card again, we'll probably never do that again. Yeah. Um, but I just wanted to see, and we'll show you guys what happens when they actually send us back, whether it's the same card or not. But that is an option that you can do if your card is uh, flawed in a way. After I deem the card gradable, I stick it in just a regular sleeve, and then we have these card saver grading sleeves. I just pop it right in there and send it on its merry way. This is what we send them yep. to PSA. So if you have like 10, let's say you're grading 10 cards, you would stack all 10 card savers, and then you would print out the documentation from uh, PSA, and then you would basically take that documentation, 
you'd fold it up, put it on top, rubber band, and then package it very nicely in a box. And then that's pretty much all there is to action it. So the big thing outside of, hey, okay, now I have a card that looks like it's gonna 10, but should I actually grade it? That's the big question. What card should you grade? Well, on our side, there's a couple of things. One, do you want to keep it? If you wanna keep it and you wanna keep it safe, preserved, grading is a good solution for that. Uh, if you want to try to sell it, that is another thing. A, um, a raw card versus a PSA 10. PSA 10 is going to tend to be a lot, like two to three times more expensive. So if a card, let's say, is $1,000 raw, if it comes back at 10, it can be anywhere from 2,500 to 3,000. Now, obviously, some cards are harder to grade than not, so it can shift, but that's why I use around that two to three X is what you're gonna look for if you get a 10 in your cards. The other thing to keep in mind when it comes to grading, it does take a lot of time. Uh, I'm talking two, three, four, sometimes six to eight weeks. So certain players, it makes sense, right? Like if you have a Patrick Mahomes card, Patrick Mahomes stock, unless he goes out and all of a sudden becomes a mass murderer, Patrick Mahomes stock is not going to dip. It's not really going to change. However, like let's say a rookie quarterback, Jaden Daniels, if you grade, if you send something in for Jaden Daniels, you are risking something because something could happen. I mean, he did get injury, he did get injured. Luckily, it's not anything severe. But let's say he does take a huge injury in those six to eight weeks that your card is into grading, the value of that card drops. So it's up to you. It is a little bit of a risk if you are trying to sell it or flip it. Um, but that's kind of how I view it is certain guys that aren't gonna change, those are kind of safe bets. Send those cards in, get them graded. Other guys, it's like, you could sell it for $100 right now on eBay, or you could send it into PSA and it could be a $300 card, or by the time it comes back, that PSA 10 might only be a $120 card. Yeah. So it's up to you, Work the worst, worth the risk, and uh, we'll kind of go through some of the cards we have today and why we grade them. Yeah. All right, we had to fix the camera real quickly, but we are back, and let's get after it, Janice. First right. card off the board. First card off the pool, we got this 2020 Panini Mosaic Got Game Green Patrick Mahomes on the Green Mosaic Jim Mint 10. I think it's a nice little card. Um, obviously, any 10 with Patrick Mahomes is nice. 2020 is a great year, too. People seem to like the cards out of 2020. And it's got a little Christmas vibe. It does. And, and Christmas is around the corner. So and they seem to always be playing the Christmas day game. A lot of these cards will be up on our eBay, guys, if you are interested, or up either buy it now or as auction. So uh, if any of these suit your fancy, take a peek. All right, next up we have the 2020 Panini Mosaic Jalen Hurts Camo Pink. Mm -hmm. I think I remember when you pulled this. This is a nice one. Yeah, we uh, we had some Mosaic Cello bat packs, I think. It was like a $300 box. And mm -hmm. was lucky enough to pull some Hurts and uh, some Burrows. And, you know, we didn't have any rookie. Um, we never pulled any of these rookie cards. So. Yeah. It was fun to see, uh, send those in. They look good. So 10, we're happy with that. Another 2020 Joe Burrow, this time Mosaic, Jim Mint 10. Nothing too crazy. It's on the NFL debut, so it's not an actual true rookie card. This is one of his inserts, but still a nice looking card. Always will take a nice Jim Mint 10 we're Burrow. We're 2020 here with Jonathan Taylor on the Panini Kingo yes. Pink. For the Colts. Now this is a very th like this. The last couple cards we showed were all kind of risky cards because you got to remember these cards tend to cost depending on when you do it anywhere from like sixteen to nineteen dollars to grade, right? Yeah. So if I'm looking at a card that's let's say is five dollars raw, the PSA ten, the PSA ten of that card could end up, this is where like the Xing kind of changes a little bit for lower cards, but PSA 10 of that card, let's say is like $30. That's really tough because a $5 card raw, I'm spending $15. My margins are very small. If it comes back a PSA nine, right? If it comes back a PSA nine, I pretty much lose money. Mm -hmm. So 
that's where some of these cards a little bit risky you want it the higher end cards it's not as risky because you know if it's a 300 if it's a, let's say it's a hundred dollar card if it comes back at 10 it's a 300 dollar card you're still only paying 16 dollars to get it graded so the margins are much higher. All right, on to 2021. Another Micah. risky card to get graded, but it's a color match. Reactive blue on the 10. Yeah, very nice color match. Rookie, true rookie there out of 2020 Mosaic. All right. On oh, to that was 2021 Mosaic, actually. Yeah. 2021. On to 2020 Panini Prism for Tua variation. Now, what's the update? You just started watching some TikTok before we started with Tua. I, I did. He was saying something. He was uh, doing a press conference saying something about how he has decided to not participate in wearing the Guardian cap. Tua's not going to wear it. No. Wow. And ev all the comments are like. It's crazy that no quarterback's going to wear it. Talking. It's crazy that no. I'm seeing more and more now but mm -hmm. no quarterbacks and you would think quarterbacks quarterbacks and like certain defensive players you would think would be the ones that would wear it the most but yeah, i think it's down. still it's still a look i guess it's still a look i i have heard though too it also range of motion mm -hmm. changes your range of motion a little bit this is a nice one all right on to the 2023 illusions funkadelic orange with the shroud on the gin mint 10. yeah nice. he didn't have the greatest right? game uh obviously missing his biggest target in nico collins but he is really the only one from the 2023 class, uh, quarterback-wise, quarterback that is anything now. Yeah. Everyone else has kind of fallen off, so he's kind of holding the class up by his shoulders. All right, 2023 Dalton Kincaid. Black and white checkered. I remember we were looking for this. I would have loved to have a 10 in this. Dalton Kincaid, awesome wide receiver for the Bills. Those are very hard to hit. Um, there's only, I think, four of them in an entire Prism um, uh, retail box which are like 200 bucks or so. Mm -hmm. So very expensive box to only get a couple of those and Prism massive checklist. So most of the time you get no name guys. That was the that was the only one I think we ever got where it was like a decent card and uh, unfortunately got a nine, but well, it is what next, it is. Jaron Hall at a mint nine. This is the autograph, no huddle. Not quite sure why I got this one graded. Um, this is one where like future Brody would go back and tell Old Brody, what are you doing? Not entirely sure. I don't know if this guy's even in the league anymore. I don't know if he's still with the Vikings. I don't know anything about this guy. I just thought it was a cool card, and so I sent it in for grading. We're going to look it up. How much it's worth? No, or if he's still in the league. You want me to do that on my computer? Sure. I think I'll do it. I think I'll be able to do it faster. Well, you know my Googling skills. Yeah, your Googling skills are great. Jaron Hall, Seattle. He's with Seattle now. Okay. All right. He's the oh, quarterback. Oh, practice squad. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. September 2nd, Seahawks signed QB Jaron Hall to practice squad. Yeah, so he went to, uh, where'd he go? Because that's what we really need. We need someone that is BYU. We need someone that's a huge B BYU fan. We had a couple. Come get yourself your Jaron Hall. They'll be up on eBay. <laughs> All right. We finally, finally, finally got a Jim Minton yes. base drought out of Donruss Optic. These are the ones where it's like it's so hard. you lose a little bit of money every time you send it in and it gets a nine. So... We've sent in like five or six, and they all been nines. Finally got a ten, Finally. which is going for a decent penny. We'll put up all the prices for you guys so you guys can see it while you're watching this. But for us, um, <sighs> just to know, this is a sad one right now. What's sad? What this one it? right here. Oh, he broke his. Yeah, yeah. So that's a that's like a forty-five dollar card. This right here, it's not bad. Last sold October twenty-first. For 45 bucks. That was today. Yeah. Yeah, it's about $45 card. So not bad. Sad day. Sad day for AOC. Yeah, broken thumb out four to six weeks, um, which is going to put us pretty much... Uh, I mean, Gardner Minshew is just so... It, it, you guys that are telling me mm. at the beginning of the season, Gardner Minshew... Gar no, you did not watch Gardner Minshew as much as I have watched him. I watched him when he was in Jacksonville. Um, fun dude to like... Uh, like cool dude, like personality wise, cool dude, just not a starting NFL quarterback. And uh, just some of the mistakes, like we could have won that, that last game, which is crazy. We could have won that last game if you just didn't make the mistakes he made. So our defense is playing great. 
So we got I'll, a gym mint tin on the blue high. For I'll sure. be I'll be rooting for our defense, but yeah, sad. All right. This you I think a, you pulled I this. I pulled this one. This yeah. one's t- out of ten. Uh, Derrick Henry gold on the twenty twenty three Donner Top Tech. We got a nine. Any any big name guy that's gold, you gotta you gotta send it in. It's worth a shot if you can gym mint ten it. I don't um, know why it's a nine though. Yeah, it, it looks centered. Oh no, it's the centering. The centering. Thicker. It's a little the thick on the left. It's one of those where you send what in. Say? It's one of those where you send in. You hope someone you know that's grading. Yeah, that's you, exactly what's wrong with. You it. hope someone that's grading the card is like in a really good mood and they just give you a ten. It was worth a shot. We don't lose too much with it being a nine. You know, there's gonna be someone out there that wants it. Ooh. Yeah, this is the worst one. An eight. Couple things about this card: horizontal, very hard for me to eyeball whether or not it's centered or not. It's a lot harder, I think, for me than the vertical ones. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, maybe there's a dimple there, maybe there's a print line, maybe there's a scratch. I don't know. These, all these, were sent in without Kelsey's uh, approval, so I kind of just actually, winged it. There's four print lines. There's one right here, one right here, one right here. Maybe that was just me being a little cross. greedy and really just wanted a 10 on this card. Yikers, but there you go. Probably lost probably 10, 15 bucks on that card. All right. Ha! I don't know what type of mood it, they were in, but they were in a good one. We got another one. Got another 10 on the base Stroud. Love it, love it. Oh, now we're going back to 2020 again. Back to 2020 with the camo pink. Jim Mint 10. That's an NFL debut, so just an insert. Not crazy, not big, but still Jalen Hurts, rookie. Still rookie. And hello. We got it again, but this one's going to be a nine. I would have liked to have it. switched those two. Both of them, same as that card. One is camo pink. One is green mosaic. That obviously is the color match. It's the cooler looking card. Mm-hmm. So if I could go back and switch it, I would have. But, you know, we can't. So well, we're stuck with the nine. Talk about MVPs up in here. We we'll take it. Ten on a camo pink MVP. I wouldn't suggest sending these in, guys. Like these type of cards that we're showing right now, these aren't great because again, if you don't ten and you get a nine, you lose money. If you get an eight, you lose a lot of money. Um, even getting a ten on these, you're probably only making ten bucks. I would say maybe you're making ten to twenty bucks depending on the card. So not worth the risk in my opinion, but. I kind of just got trigger happy and wanted to send in a bunch of cards. So that's why a lot of these we sent in. Here's another green mosaic on the 2020. Jim and 10. This one would have been nice to 10. Ooh, the ticket. Yeah. The rookie ticket. Dang. Yeah. CJ Stroud out of the Contenders Optic. Very nice looking card. You put it in a different case. It's a little bit of a thicker card. That's probably why. It's a, it's a 55er. Oh, um, interesting. But yeah, it would have been nice to 10 this one. Um, not a, Again, not a huge card because it wasn't like numbered or anything like that. But still, for the collection, would have been nice to have one for a 10. But that one, since it's a 9, we're not really keeping that many 9s. So that will probably go up on our eBay as well. And we pulled another one of these. And it is a 10, yes, which that's, is amazing. And Jared Goff looking like an absolute stud. Looking like potentially a Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl quarterback this year. Playing really well. Stained glass. Love to see it. It's out of the 2023 mosaic. Got a uh, license to dominate with yeah. Patrick Mahomes. This is the case sideways hit. one. And you got a 10 on a sideways it's one. Very nice. This. Case hit right there. License to dominate out of contenders. We'll take it. Very solid. I didn't know he was from Tyler. That's, I mean, for, for um, Kansas City, for, for uh, Patrick Mahomes or Kansas City Chief fan, it's a very nice card to have in your collection. This is my favorite one. This card is sick. This is my favorite one. The Micro Mosaic out of Mosaic 2023. I'm holding on to this one. I think it's a cool Look card. Look at that. It's so cool. On the Gym at 10, very difficult to 10 this. I don't know what the pop is. We'll throw the pop up. I, I think it's quite small. Um, the runs on these are very small. There's not too many of the Micro Mosaic out there. Uh, but yeah, I mean, he's not playing great, but I said this in one of our streams the other night, the dude plays with a lot of passion. He looks like he wants it. He looks like he wants to prove people wrong. And, uh, so we're going to hold on to it and see what happens. You know, this could end up being, I think this card initially was like around 300 to the 350 raw. I don't know what a 10 does on it. Let me look that up real quick, but it's one of those where that card could be worth very little, um, 
not that far from now because if his play if his play continues to drop, mm-hmm. um, it it could go down quickly. So it looks like initially that Jim Mint ten was like six hundred dollars, six fifty, five fifty. I'm seeing a lot of them were selling around, and it looks like recently now. Uh, one sold for three twenty, and one sold for three fifty a week ago. So you can just see people are kind of out on him, and uh, yeah, that sucks. But you know, we're hold on to it and see what happens. All right, neon eye. That's big. Luka. This is the tie dye prism. It got a ten on it. That's a huge and card. That's out of twenty five. That's a that's a huge card. Now neon icons. It's an insert. So. It could have been a lot huger if it wasn't an insert, but still Puka on the tie-dye, Jim Mint 10, love it. Big fan of that card. All right, next we have another stained glass coming up. Yeah. Justin Jefferson. Definitely looking like probably one of the, uh, I mean, I think it was questionable to some of whether or not he was the best wide receiver in the league. I think he's kind of putting the stamp down as being the top wide receiver, so getting a case hit. Jim Mint 10, very nice. Love it. And then biggest last, card of all. Last but not least. This might be one of the biggest cards we've ever pulled. For us. Aww. That's a big one. It is a big one. Patrick Mahomes downtown. Super Bowl downtown. Yeah. And these are... Jim Mint 10. Any idea what the price is on this? This one? Yeah. Uh, 10? One Super just Bowl? sold. One just sold yesterday. 1500 $2,200. Oh my God. Yeah, it's anywhere from it's anywhere from like twenty two like I'm seeing as low as two thousand one hundred and I'm seeing as high as two thousand five hundred. So goodness. it's a it's a two thousand dollar plus card. It's a massive card. It's another card that, like I said, very nice to have in the collection. I don't know if we're gonna sell this one. I'll talk to Kelsey about it. Um because it's such a sick card. You gotta get a good price. Or and he might just go down as one of the best. You gotta get me a corgi if you're gonna sell that. So there we have it. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. A little PSA reveal. Um, I think I have. Ooh, we have another one coming that I just sent in not that long ago, and we just showed some of our biggest football hits. Oh, this here one we go, basketball. This one has three of our biggest basketball hits that we've ever pulled. Um, the other thing I was going to say too, is when you do, when you send in, they have different levels of pricing. I almost forgot about this. They have different levels of pricing. So to send in a car that's worth like $500 max, it's like $17 to grade, Mm -hmm. but to send in a car that's like worth $1,500, it's like $40 to grade that car or 30 or whatever. Right. It's an upcharge. So I don't know a lot of times too, like whether or not it's going to gym or not. So sometimes you'll send in a card and you'll say 500. If you get an email back being like, Hey, hey we got to upcharge you. That is a good sign. And that's what they did with the Patrick Mahomes. I don't know why I sent that in as a $500 card. Cause I think even raw, it's like a thousand. I think I'm going to mess that one up. But yeah, if you get an email saying, Hey, we need to charge you more. Obviously it sucks a little bit from giving more money to PSA, but when they send it saying it, then you're like, oh man, I got a big card. I got a big card. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You got anything else for the people, Janice? No. Awesome, awesome. We'll see you guys in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.